Hey guys, today is a really exciting day. Today is day one of vacation. Myself, my wife, my three sisters, my brother-in-law, and my niece, we are all going to Orlando, Florida for the week. We're going to spend a couple of days at Universal. I know everyone's really excited. We are just now finishing up packing and then our flight leaves in a few hours, so we better get going. Let's go. Well, if you can't tell, we are back from our Orlando trip. It has been such a fun week, but of course, with all things, we have to come back home, get our lives back together. I go back to work Monday. So all in all, it was a great trip. I know everybody had a lot of fun. If you have not been to Orlando to go to Universal Studios, I highly recommend it. There's lots to do there. Um, there are three different parks to visit at Universal Studios. Um, each of them have their own unique set of, you know, areas to visit, food, um, and of course, gift shops. Yeah, here we are back home, and uh, let's talk some poker. So what I want to talk about today is the happiest moment in my semi-professional poker career. So for those of you who do not live in Houston, over the last year, there have been many different poker houses that have been opening up. I have lots of good things to say about them that I may put in another video just to review some of the poker houses. But this this story that I'm going to tell you happened this year, um, back in February of 2018. And it was a cold night, it was a Friday night, and at one of the houses they advertise a first place guarantee of 7,500, regardless of the prize pool, regardless of how many people show up, first place is going to get 7,500. And that was their big draw for people to show up. For this particular night, um, I think about 85 showed up. There were nine tables. Um, I caught aces about five times that night. Three of them were against Pocket Kings, so I got max value out of that all three times. I ended up making some good folds, some good reads. I, I felt really comfortable that night, which was really important. 
Um, I felt really good. My reads were on point. I wasn't overthinking hands. I just went mostly with my gut. We ended up getting to the final table. And of course, people start talking chops at the final table. But there was one guy that did not want to chop at all, which is fair. I mean, we don't go into, or at least I don't, I don't go into a tournament thinking if I can get down to just three of us or four of us or five of us that we can chop. You know, my initial instinct is to win the tournament. I went into the final table as a chip leader. Um, final table went pretty standard. And so we went heads up about the same number of chips, which was probably at the time 60 to 70 blinds each. So very comfortable. And I asked him one more time, hey, you know, do you want to do you, do you want to talk numbers? You know, I'm not saying do you want to chop, but do you want to fix the the first place and the second place? Because, you know, first place was seven thousand dollars after we agreed to take five hundred off, give it to eighth and ninth place. So first place was getting seven thousand. Second place was getting two thousand. So, you know, there's there's a lot of money in between there. And so I asked him, hey, do you know, do you want to take money off first place, give it to second place, or do you just want to play it out? And he still, you know, stood his ground and said, nope, I'm, I'm playing to win. You know, no chop, no deal, no nothing. So, okay, that's fine. Um, heads up went pretty standard. We played heads up for about 45 minutes. Um, I did lose a big hand, and uh, I remember it was getting late towards the end of the night, and I had King 7 on the button, opened it up, he did three bet me from the big blind and I ended up just shoving because um, he had been very aggressive pre-flop in the last couple of hands. Leave a comment down below if you think that was a good play or not. So I shoved all in, he snapped call, he turned over ace 10 suited. Um, the board ran out in my favor. I ended up straighting on the river, um, something he didn't see right away. So, you know, he clapped his hands together and he gave a fist pump and, you know, pointed at all of his friends and, you know, the tournament director who was standing right there um, you know, it was like, you didn't win, you know, look at the cards again. And, you know, he was like, oh no, you know, I was really embarrassed and apologized. So really nice guy. He just didn't see, you know, the board run out. Uh, after that hand, you know, I had a, a huge chip lead. I probably had four to one, five to one chip advantage. Maybe three hands later at nine, 10 suited. I went ahead and just shoved on the button and, uh, he snap called with ace three off. Uh, and, uh, the board ran out clean. And uh, I spiked a nine on the river to win it. So really, really happy that all of that happened. And it made me happy, not because of the money won, but don't get me wrong, the money was good. What really did it for me was the fact that I played my best game and my best game works. And that's what really meant a lot to me. Um, you know, I didn't overthink my reads. I listened to my gut. I played good position poker. Um, I made my stands when I needed to make them and it all worked out for me. So that's what was really so satisfying for me is to, you know, cause as a poker player, you develop this game and you, th you think this game is good and you hope this game is good, but I could never get that win. You know what I mean? Like you, you're always looking for that win without the chop, without, you know, splitting it up or everybody wins, four of you win. You know, that that's not as exciting to talk about other than just telling someone, no, I won this tournament. There was no chop, no chop. So, um, you know, I, I, as soon as I won, you know, and they, and they paid me out, I got in my car and I texted my dad right away. And I was like, dad, I know you're asleep, but you gotta call me in the morning. I ended up winning, you know, the big tournament last night that we've always talked about. Yeah, it was, um, it was a really good experience. I'm really happy that it happened to me. My confidence since then has gone up, but uh, I am looking forward to, you know, getting more involved in bigger games now that I have more confidence in my game, in my, my early game, my mid game, and my late game, I feel are much better because of this. That's really, that's really what did it for me was just knowing that I do know what I'm doing. You know, that, that's kind of such a confidence booster to see, you know, a trend of, of um, um, finishing in the top five of many different tournaments and then finally securing that win really, really does a lot for someone. So I'm really happy that it happened. And um, yeah, that's, um, that's my happiest poker moment and that's my story. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next week.